Hey guys, how are you today? All right. Um, if you're watching this, you've already seen the video of me doing the pouring on this, of the pouring of the acrylic paint. And I can tell you that I will be doing this again because this was fun. Uh, it's a great way to use up little bits of leftover paint and mediums that you have in your stash um, that you have to really use up or, you're, or they're going to just go bad. Um, this is a great way to use them up. I did at the end pour glitter and seed beads and things into the paint while it was still wet and pretty fluid. And I got this really cool... It is so cool, the texture, I can't even tell you. I It didn't drip all the way down the sides or I didn't tilt it enough to drip down all the sides. And I think I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'm gonna just go ahead and like, you know, buff some paint in there or not. I may just leave it because I kind of like it. Um, I will tell you that I did these on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So it took that long for these to dry. This is the other small one that I did. They're so cool. I will be selling at least two of them in my Etsy shop and I'm not sure which two. Um, I don't know yet. Um, but here's the big one. They're so cool. I have to sign them. Um, a lot of times when you see them do this um, acrylic pouring um, on canvas, you see that they um, really just pour the paint off into a trash can or something. And I wasn't really okay with that. I really wanted to save as much of it as I could. So I lined this cookie sheet with wax paper and I put some rice paper in there too. And it caught most of the paint. Some of it did leak out. I will tell you that this is still wet. It's Wednesday. It's still... Can you see that? That's shiny because it's still wet. It is still... Yeah, that is still wet. So I will be pulling this paper off. I will be saving it, letting it dry, and soaking my cookie sheet to get as much of that off as I can. Um, and this is going to be great. I mean, look at this. This is going to be fabulous like collage paper. I can't wait. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, I guess I can get the rice paper off. Oh, look at that. Do you see that? That is cool. It won't all come off cleanly because it's too wet. I may just leave it. I may, I don't know. That's kind of cool. But I would definitely do something if you're going to try this to save the paint if you can uh, because it's a shame to waste all that paint. I would let it drip and dribble and create some unique textures for you or line the bottom of your cookie sheet with um, um, a silicone, uh, I'm sorry, a non-stick art mat um, or non-stick baking sheet so you can create an acrylic skin with the drippings or something like that because this is this is cool. But using airbrush medium, medium pouring medium, um, glazing fluid to thin your paint is what you should do because if you use too much water you're going to break, break down the polymers in the paint and then um, you're not going to get the results that you want and it's not it it's not going to last the test of time. Um, but those mediums slow down the drying time of the acrylic paint and um, you can add like 20% water and then the medium. I probably used too much of the medium and of all the mediums that I stated um, from previous experiments I know the airbrush medium is the, is the one that takes the longest to drive to dry and that is the one I wanted to use up because I didn't have very much of it and it was going bad. So that's it. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, if you want to join one of my Facebook groups or support my channel, you can um, shop in my Etsy shop. The links for the Facebook groups and my Etsy shop are in the description below. Don't forget the most important thing, though. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, like play with a pouring of the paint. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.